On the market since 2012, the Super Mini hatch debuts with an all-electric powertrain for the 2020 model year. The car is built on the new common modular platform from the Group PSA that can be used for both electrified and ICE vehicles. Peugeot says that the E208 will offer up to 188 miles of driving on a charge, powered by a combination of a 50 kilowatt hour battery and a 136 horsepower electric motor. This tiny city car is actually a rather unique introduction to the EV segment, since it supports the CCS charging rate of 100 kilowatt. You should expect the public charger to load six miles into the pack per minute, so in just half an hour, nearly 100% of juice will be restored. The EQC400 is the first born of Mercedes EQ sub-brand and is based on the modernized platform inherited from the compact GLC class crossover. At the same time, the electric SUV is noticeably larger than a crossover with traditional internal combustion engine, has an original exterior design, and a luxury interior made in the best traditions of the German company. You'll recognize the center console with a large flip-up panel in the middle and a sleek dashboard headlined by MBUX multimedia system comprising of two 10.25 inch screens. The EQC is equipped with two electric motors, one at each axle and an 80 kilowatt hour battery. The power unit produces impressive 408 horsepower and 564 pound-feet of torque. The EQC can support fast charge power up to 112 kilowatt, so in 35 minutes, your range meter should be showing 150 miles of driving remaining. The first fully electric car by the German automaker is a spacious five-seater premium SUV with two electric motors and the latest Audi technology, such as a brand new recuperation system that recovers up to 30% of the 204 miles of range. Additionally, it gets one of the fastest charging batteries that reduces at 150 kilowatt range from 20 to 80% in 30 minutes. Externally, the Audi e-tron takes a lot from the Audi Q8 crossover, including the same platform and a massive honeycomb grille. Dual motors set on each axle produce the combined output of 408 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. However, such output can only be delivered only for 8 seconds in sport mode. Most of the time, the return is a bit more modest, 360 ponies and 414 pound-feet. In 2020, 
Porsche's first all-electric automobile arrives to the U.S. market in three modifications. While the entry-level Taycan 4S starts from $104,000, delivers 530 or 570 horses in overboost, and gets two battery sizes, 80 and 94 kilowatt hour. The Turbo and Turbo S models make 680 and 760 horsepower and are powered by the larger pack. All the models are capable to recharge from 5 to 80 percent in 23 minutes, with the 80 kilowatt hour 4S accomplishing this task using a 225 kilowatt charger and the rest requiring a 270 kilowatt one. The exact range of the Taycan remains unconfirmed, but we are expecting it to be between 215 and 255 miles according to the EPA test cycle. This SUV is the most recognizable electric family hauler of today. After Tesla's recent lineup adjustments, the Model X is sold in two configurations, long range and performance. The former's advantage is the most impressive for this segment range of 325 miles, while the latter demonstrates true supercar performance with 2.7 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and 163 miles per hour top speed. When it comes to charging, the 2019 and later produced model XS will be able to support 200 kilowatt rates, so 150 miles of range should be replenished in just 15 minutes. This Tesla has standard all-wheel drive, a minimalistic dashboard with a gigantic infotainment system, 20 or 22 inch wheels, and an autopilot with optional full self-driving capability. The last but not least are well-known Falcon Wings rear doors, seven-seater layout, and possible level three charging capability in the nearest future. Do not be surprised to hear the name of Henrik Fisker. The notorious car designer is back and once again, he is trying to take the automotive world by storm, this time with solid state battery technology. The new performance sedan eMotion is expected to possess premium sports car specifications, namely extreme acceleration with zero to 60 time of three seconds, top speed of 151 miles per hour and all wheel drive capability. At the moment, this EV is equipped with a 145 kilowatt hour LG Kim battery that replenishes 125 miles in nine minutes. But the R&D department of the company is working on the solid state pack that is supposedly good enough to support ultra fast charging at the rate of 500 miles per minute. This claim is extremely speculative, but let's hope that the Danish businessman has indeed made a breakthrough because the entire EV community will benefit from it.
Depending on the market, the Tesla Model 3 is offered in three trim levels, Standard Plus, Long Range, and Performance. However, if you try giving a call to one of Tesla's stores to direct order, snatching the 35 grand Model 3 still remains possible. If you are looking for the fastest recharging capability, the upper long range and performance modifications are the way to go. Being compatible with 250 kilowatt level 3 superchargers, replenishing 172 miles in 15 minutes. These cars get dual motor all-wheel drive and a 75 kilowatt hour battery, good for 310 miles on a charge. In addition, the 473 horsepower performance does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. If you are wondering what is the fastest charging electric car in the world today, then the answer is quite simple. The one that doesn't need to recharge at all. The secret lies in the hydrogen fuel cell technology that tremendously shortens the time spent at the station. In fact, it is just like refueling an internal combustion car. The Hyundai Nexo arrived to the market in 2019 and is arguably the best hydrogen-powered electric car of today. It replaced the Tucson fuel cell, arriving with a completely reworked powertrain. The newcomer utilizes a system comprised of three hydrogen 700-bar tanks with 41-gallon combined capacity. The single fill-up takes five minutes and provides 380 miles of uninterrupted driving. 